guys, welcome to Jazz Tutorials. In this fine tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use curves and other adjustment layers to create an awesome, cool effect. So, I started with opening this photo here of this girl, and with it now open, I went and duplicated the background layer, which is a Control J, by the way, on your keyboard. Then you go to Layer 1, Background, going, going on, alright? Then you're going to add a Curves Adjustment Layer above all those layers. Alright, you with me? Okay. Now I already had the blue color that we're going to make already in my defaults, but I'm going to show you how to make it yourself. So go up here and select blue in your RBG thing. Up there in the little drop down screen you'll see blue, red, green, RBG. Select blue, and then enter in these three numbers here I'm showing you. These three, well, three plots on the map. Um, so yeah, enter in these numbers here as I'm showing you. Alright, you with me? Okay. Once you have your numbers plugged in, then go back to your drop down screen and select green. Green's right there. Alright, there's green. Then you're going to import other num these numbers here as shown for the green color. Okay. And once you've imported all three numbers, or three plots rather, on the map, then you can X out of it and you should have a bluish color similar to mine. Maybe not exactly like mine, but very similar. Okay. We're good. Okay, we're good. Now you can X out of the old screen. You should get that. Got it? Okay, here we go. Next step. Now, on your adjustment layer, we're going to make that to an overlay. So go select overlay, and you'll get that fine effect right there. Something like that. Maybe not exactly like mine, but something similar. Okay? You feeling me? Alright. Now, on layer 1, we're going to copy that. Make layer 1 copy. Go to filter, and you're going to select motion blur. Now, we did a similar effect in the rainbow sparkling effect tutorial. So, yeah, we're doing the same kind of thing here. Just more awesomer, I think. <laughs> okay. So then once you have that uh, there, go to your eraser brush and select a small, a rather large soft brush. 200 3RPX is good enough. Then just erase her face like that. One big splock so you can see her face. Got it? Alrighty then. Select layer 1. And on layer 1, we're going to do a sharpen. So the sharpen tool is right there, the little triangular one. And then just sharpen her face a bit just so you can see it looks awesomer. Alright, there we go. And last but not least, we're going to add a photo filter on the top. Now you can use the color or you can use the, the regular filter thing right there. I'm using the regular one because it's awesomer, I think. <laughs> and there you go. That's the effect. How awesome is that, guys? You can now feel free to add text, brushes, whatever else you want to make it look awesome. That's my final outcome. So yeah, hope you enjoyed that, guys. And thanks for watching. And as I always say, subscribe, like, and comment.